guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a purchase order and import an Excel spreadsheet directly into the purchase order. Now, what are the benefits for this? This is when you have a list provided by your vendor of make model serial number and various values that you want to collect into the system or potentially uh, you pulled you know 500 hard drives and you sent them into a data wiping scenario and your data wiping solution is provided to you for an excel export so you have make model serial number graded a drive potential hours that were used for the wiping process and you want to import this in the system so you could get it into inventory and have the ability to sell it as quick as possible. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with a purchase order. I created one PO931. So we're going to click on this PO and you're going to see it's pretty much empty. In the details, you have various things you could fill in. You know, in this case, we said import list after wipe is complete. So once the PO is set up and it's in a blank state or potentially even has products, you could still import in. So we're going to start out at the top. You hit import PO. Now you're going to hit import from Excel. We're going to select the list that you have. And what's going to happen is it's going to separate out all the header rows so you can see what's available to map into our system. So we have model. It's going to map the model. Manufacturer will map the manufacturer. Condition to condition. Serial number. we got to make sure uh, serial number is inputted in. We have hours capacity so we could select capacity go to capabilities type in uh, capacity we have grade status is passed and notes so all the ones that are selected from the field selection are going to get mapped and imported in So fields you don't want imported, you'll select as not mapped. Once that's done, I might have health here, so I might select that. I'll double check. So once you're done, you would hit import. Now this would start the import process and import all the various fields and uh, rows into the purchase order. If there are any errors, you would see a column here and some things will be in red if there's any errors. In this case, everything imported in 100%. Once done, we'd hit complete. Uh, one of the great things about this import is, is if the manufacturer model do not exist in the system, it'll automatically create it on the fly. So it's not gonna create a various error. So in this case, we imported in uh, 45 drives. Once that's done and uh, it's approved by your vendor or you approve it, you confirm it and hit yes. And you would just do a receive all and that'll receive in all 44 drives without you having to type in any information. So once the inventory is imported in, um, it's time to verify. So what you could do is go to inventory, receive inventory, and what this is gonna show you is the latest items that were imported in or added into the system. So we could see a bunch of items from the list and we select them you could see the various data points that we imported in were already collected. So this saved you a ton of time. You imported in 45 drives and you've collected the capacity, the hard drive type, the hours used, the grade, and the packaging type. So you could use this for many purposes. It's going to save you a ton of time and it's really going to help.